there she is. It's an actual true window source class just turns into business class. Your very own doors. There, but nobody does that because this seat is full of surprises. Catering with China Eastern seems to be pretty good. So hello and welcome to another flight report and there she is, China Eastern's brand new Airbus A350 which has only been in service since yesterday and it's currently being tested between Beijing and Shanghai. Uh, what's so interesting about this one? Well it's one of the very few Airbus A250s that actually features a first class. The other one I can think of is Malaysia Airlines and the funny thing about this first class is when you move certain com uh, compartments you can actually turn it into a kind of a living room. Uh, very similar to the Q Suite, so maybe this is uh, perhaps the Chinese Q Suite, um, but we will find out what it's all about because I've seen a few photos and the product they have on this airplane looks actually pretty promising. So I don't know the service. I flew China Easterns once before. I wasn't too impressed. Uh, so let's see how good this 350 and China Eastern really is. So I'm really excited to show that, uh, to introduce this brand new airplane to you. So um, let's go and find out. So this is it, this is the brand new Airbus A350 of China Eastern and as you can see it features a first class seat as well and there is literally no dividers so first class just turns into business class um, even though those seats look pretty slick. So I'm now going to give you a tour of their new business class seat so i'm seated at 11 l and then uh, you see that they come in a staggered configuration so this one is an actual true window seat and this one is closer to the aisle inside the cubicle <laughs> i'd say uh, very similar to delta one um, this is the new business class of china eastern um, from china eastern's airbus a 350 and the major thing, um, I have a water, thank you. Okay, they even serve hot water. So, um, the, the big difference here is that you can actually shut the door for like full privacy. So, what you do is you just release that button here and then you just shut the door and you be completely isolated from the rest of the cabin. And as you can see, you have the big screen right in front of you, which you which has a touchscreen function, but you can also operate it with the remote control, which I'm gonna show you in a second. And then uh, we've got slippers here once more. This is really cool on the domestic flight. Uh, all the magazines are kept here as well as the safety cord and additional storage space table. So what you do is you hit that button and then you kind of pull it out and you'd be all set for dinner, breakfast, lunch, whatever. <laughs> kind of hard to put it back. Um, and then, as you can see, we've got loads of storage space here. So I kept all my gear here. And this is how you uh, operate most of the seats. So you can go flat. You can put the seat in a more relaxed position. I don't know whether this is a D&D &D button. No, uh, no idea what this stands for. Let me know in the comment section. I think this is to adjust the light or maybe this or the firmness I don't know this is very confusing to me that makes very little sense and then as you know from Airbus you have a remote control with your with a very own screen and then there is this very little like storage space right here 
where you can like barely fit a phone and you've got a mirror there as well so I, um, kind of yeah doesn't make much sense since it's in here you can make uh, contactless payments so uh, for whatever maybe when you purchase some duty free the audio jack a universal power outlet combined with the USB slot and more storage space here a nice little light here and this is where you put your um, headphones as well as a reading light so so far first impression of this seat is it's very classy it's very private Thanks. thank you Nothing better than a hot towel, isn't it? interesting because earlier today I was flying Air China and I was blown away by how many international movies um, Air China offers and then yes when I go to the Hollywood option Hollywood it is also not very responsive to screen it's uh, a bit of a pain to operate it me as a frequent flyer I've actually seen 90% of those movies and as you know, probably for most Airbus A330s, uh, the remote control features its own, very own screen. So you could technically watch one movie on here and another one on there, but nobody does that. I mean, that would be stupid. Um, but what you can do is, for example, you can just open the flight map here, and then you choose handset, and then you'd be updated about uh, the flight details, where we at, how much flight time there is remaining. Also, this one is equipped in flight Wi-Fi. It's very easy, you just connect and you open the browser and it will ask you for your seat number and the four last digits of your ID. Um, something you need to know though, it is Chinese internet, which means Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all these websites are blocked. Even if you take off in London somewhere, it's still be Chinese internet. So you can access WeChat or anything else that isn't blocked in China. Um, so for example, it might be very useful for some this site might be absolutely useless since you can't access your favorite websites. So one of the most exciting features uh, on this aircraft is that you have your very own door. So you can shut it for uh, absolute privacy. So you just uh, pull that button here to release the door and then you pull it. It's all manually. So you pull it and then you shut it, and there you are. You're in your own little bubble, full privacy, nobody can bother you. And then just to open the door, you pull it back like this, and there you are. So you can actually close the whole thing. time for dinner and uh, first of all look at those beautiful chopsticks you get when you fly with a uh, Chinese and then I could choose between um, beef or chicken and then there is a special of a day so they have every day they have a different special uh, on this flight so t t today's special was or you could also say the catch of the day is steamed fish with steamed rice got some garlic bread a fruit platter uh, a bit of a salad and the presentation looks beautiful um, what it actually tastes like and uh, got a bit of fish here mm. it's actually really good I 
really like it. The fish is very juicy, not too dry. So is the rice. The rice is very nice. Catering with China Eastern seems to be pretty good. The seat goes completely flat. Um, it's a little bit like a coffin because you slide in to that little hole and it's got rice all over me. Um, so this is what it pretty much looks like when you go completely flat. Uh, now on top, if you would shut the door, you would have your little coffin. Um, as you can see, it moves literally all the way in there. So if you're a bit claustrophobic, then you probably won't like it that much. It's not bad, it is good. I've seen worse. So we just started descending into Beijing and let me quickly sum up my experience. We're on China East with a brand new Airbus 350 and it's a massive improvement, a massive improvement especially to what I flew last time at China East. It was still an angled flat bat uh, in a 222 configuration and it was awful. It was such an old product. But this is a total game changer for the airline. And it's, it's a beautiful design. I, I like it. It takes the airline to a next level. And this was just a short flight. You know, this is like a 90 minutes flight. But this product on a long haul flight, on an intercontinental flight, I think this is going to be a lot of fun because this seat is full of surprises. It gives you everything you rec uh, require for a long haul trip. And I love how Chinese airlines are actually stepping up their game, improving their products and uh, putting Western carriers pretty much to shine. So this was it. This was probably also the very first uh, Airbus A330 review of China Eastern on YouTube. Um, you always see it first on my channel. Not always, but I'm always trying just for you guys. So I would really appreciate if you give this video a like. Um, and if you subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Um, also, let me know in the comment section below what you think of this uh, cabin and the setup of China East and what do you think of their Airbus A350. I think it's a massive improvement and uh, I really enjoyed my flight here. Um, so, as always, safe travels and thanks so much for watching.